more than 3,000 deadly cobras and hundreds of eggs. He then dined out heartily on what he'd found, but you'll see what I mean in just a few moments. Residents and police said snake charmer Dudu Mia captured thousands of young cobras at two houses in Narayaganj near Dhaka. Mia was called in by resident Mantu Kasai after his wife found two large cobras on their property. The fine triggered panic among neighbours who fled their homes. But for a practiced snake charmer for 43 years, catching the snakes was child's play. Helped by his assistants, he dug underneath the floors of two houses and unearthed a slithering stockpile of thousands of snakes. After counting his catch, Mia set out to prove to villagers that he's truly the master of the slimy serpent. Now, if Mia had a publicist, he'd probably say that he eats more than a hundred of these at one sitting while they're alive. And if you watch closely, I think Mia really likes these snakes, not the taste of them, that is. Who then? The theatrical Mia says that eating serpents in such quantities sometimes gives him hallucinations. But he always sleeps well after he's digested the reptiles. <laughs> He now plans to look for more cobras elsewhere in the neighborhood, but hasn't yet decided about what to do with the rest of his cat. That's got to hurt. Cobras, which are highly venomous and endemic to Bangladesh, often nest in houses there. But this isn't such a bad thing, as they frequently rid the houses of rats and other domestic pests. Bon appétit! This is one of the poorest cities in the world, Dhaka, the capital of Bangladesh. The people today have got some entertainment in the form of a monkey and an abandoned puppy, which is being treated to a unique form of interspecies love. Maina, the monkey, left childless by an animal trader, has found a substitute for her lost baby in a small mongrel pup. <laughs> Keeping a close eye on spectators in a Dhaka slum, Maina's maternal instinct for her puppy is so strong, she won't allow owner Sultan Mia to approach. Just try getting close to Mena and she bears a set of fierce monkey teeth and a frightening hiss. Owner Mia said he bought Mena but couldn't afford to keep its baby. Sad and lonely, Mena began to treat the puppy as though it were her own baby, showering it with maternal care. Now the story of this loving monkey and her puppy is traveling the streets of Dhaka, drawing onlookers every day. Poor Mena, kept captive on a chain, struggles to keep hold of the dog and seems overly protective of the bewildered canine.
Stressed by the attention and the fear of having this baby taken from her, Mayna becomes aggressive and quite dangerous to any unsuspecting onlooker. <laughs> Gently picking fleas from their young is a normal monkey habit, but for this adopted puppy it's become the focus of her preening and picking. Could this be the only dog in Bangladesh that doesn't have fleas? <laughs> Kali ni nampak lagi mana?